did him. <laughs> all right, first of all, I give our praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rakab, Goyash. The other city of pastors are in as a great stone. Shout out to the brothers and highways and byways pushing this word now, sincerity and truth. The sisters and the pastor helps. Shout out to um, them. You know, just the James Rubin for Kim. Um, just doing a short lesson up on, um, you know, um, you have a right to remain silent. And um, in, a, in a Esau um, American constitution, you know, that, that was the first thing they said. They said, look, um, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You know, and um, two things. Um, the scripture says, oh, every idle word, um, idle word, you can get that up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, waste time that point. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You know, um, <coughs> so it, it's the, the inspiration of this also came from um, the movie um, American Sun. You know, it, it really show um, a few the a few lights on the um, Jake and the um, legal system, but there's also a spiritual aspect to it. Yeah, yeah. You can. What? This is Matthew chapter twelve verse. Read about the cast of an short but This is Matthew chapter twelve verse thirty six. But I say unto you that every idle word that a man shall speak, that shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. Exactly. So, you know, um, like I said, you know, the movie basically yeah, shows the, um, the, the legal side of things, you know, and it going to this truth, whether it be a case where Esau come up against you, you know, or as the brother, um, the elder Ariel bring out in a couple months ago or a couple weeks ago, when the whole rape thing came up, you know, um, are you that? Mm -hmm. that? No, what are we? Is he on your offense? No, I never read. No, no, it's the, when they must say, oh, Hebrews so like, so are like, they must say, oh, we don't need to do the justification, mm -hmm. you know? Um, sometimes, you know, some, especially when, when things like the, the quote unquote rape doctrine come up, when you have things like, you know, they must say, we are terrorists or whatever, sometimes brothers, you know, go out and ready to defend themselves. You know, do a couple of videos like I try to show people said, no, no, we're not really about this, you know, I try, I try. We understand it, so we know the most I know is a witness. But sometimes I come out from my spirit that you try to see a face, you know, and you, you can't really control what other people think and what other people do. Or believe. Or what other people believe, can't. Can we read the Bible every Sunday and you say we don't believe in a guy? Can't. And, and uh, also, on a lower level, you know, you can only control your actions. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't no focus on people, focus on yourself. So, as Job said, you can get that too. He said, um, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not fine. He, Job, Job said, oh, if you justify himself. Because with these things, is that you may implicate yourself in the midst of your try to um, justify yourself. You know, as something will really get your a problem. So, the best thing is always to keep silent. If you get asked a question, you answer, but at the same time, don't try to yeah, explain yourself away because you have to put yourself in a more problem than where you can just build. You know, when the judgment comes down, then you take it. So, whether it be a brother reprove you or Esau or grab your part, as you say, or something come out, the best thing is keep silent, do what you need for you. What? This is Ecclesiastes 32, verse 7. Speak, young man. If there be need of thee, and yet scarcely when thou art twice asked, exactly. let, thy, let thy speech be short, comprehended much in few words, be as one that know it, and yet hold it his tongue. So, even in, in, as I said, even if you ask a question, you know, mm -hmm. be short and direct, you know, and ensure the same press of your question. It's um, Job, Job um, 9, verse 20. It says, If I justify myself, my own mouth shall condemn me. If I say I am perfect, it shall also prove me perverse. You know, and, and as I said, we are using how shall I as the biggest example of that, you know. You, um, we try our best through the spirit to just speak less, you know, as the scripture says, speak if the meaning of you also means of a easier constitution. The things that we do as well. Will have an application. Sometimes the best way to react is to not react, react at all. Just take it, take the low seed, and just keep it moving because, as I said, it's something you think you justify yourself or you think you have having a right to defend something. 
or come out your betterment or really and truly it can bring you further than where you're even willing to go. You know? Um you have some? No, 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 no. Yeah. Proverbs seventeen verse twenty-eight. Even a fool when he holdeth his peace is counted wise, and he that shutteth his lips is esteemed a man of understanding. Exactly. Yes. Mm-hmm. So you need no explanation for that. More than I'm getting I'm getting the Matthew 5. Um, this is Matthew 5, verse 25. Um, this is Matthew 5, verse 25. It says, Agree with thine adversary quickly, whilst thou art in the way with him, lest at any time the adversary deliver thee up to the judge, and the judge deliver thee up to the officer, and thou be cast into prison. Exactly, because one of the points are the um are the at the, at the movie, <coughs> so like, yeah. the woman basically they are called the chief, um, my, uncle, my uncle Tom. And I must say, yo, imagine, you don't know, we pull you over. Because she said, police stop people every day for you, for you know, at all. I must say, you don't know why we stop you. You don't know if a car, if a car will drive similar to a car when it's in a robbery. You don't know if it's a case where something do your car only if you stop you. You look for you, you try to save her from a danger or get wind from. It could, it could have been anything we stop you for. But imagine that was stopping you now and then instantly you go up on the offensive. You are try up tough, you are give me attitude, you start with me GG, you, you start with me. Um you make me uncomfortable so I'm going to say are right, you what? I mean, if you be cautious, even when there's nothing to be cautious about others, somebody are running off their mouth. But you are giving me reason for me defensive and therefore I'm going to act in a defensive manner, the slightest thing I'll never see as some hostile, you have a paranoid. You know, so when you call it just corporate, regardless of the facts, you never want to stop this or no. And just you go about business, me go about business, because if you really not know, then obviously me not go find out. And you just go about your memory, your memory, your memory way. You know, but if it's a case where you have to do something now, you have to make me feel like you have something now, because guess what? You start get a, 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 a trust in that thing. You know, so I would say, whether it be a brother, and even if it's a case where a brother reprove you, you know, you, 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 you listen. If them ask so why you do something, answer, as I say, straight up to the point. And when the brother gives judgment, I say, this is what we get to discuss, do some judgment for whatever we talk to you about. Just can, like sincerely can, think upon it, and move forward. You know, don't make it be a thing where, uh, alright, we get where I say, brother, but here what I think. You see, this and this and this, this way, way, way. no. You know, that that not necessary. You in the need it. You know, they, they just, just work because, guess what? At times you can't believe, say, you know, every one thing we can get killed. You know, and, and one of the, the, the series that show that is you know, a series like Game of Thrones where it show how easy the characters them die. Some of the times they want to smile and say something they never even say. And in real and true, in the Asian world, that that's somebody used to get people killed in the many empires, yo. Some people have said something enough to say, somebody here will love it, and then guess what I go on now. They perceive it as some trend, or they, they think you know something you're not even know. And look at the, uh, the man of David and Saul. Yeah, 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 lad. Him go and say, look here, you know, Saul, we kill Saul, <laughs> rare, 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 rare. Mm. Get brushed. David put him to death. And guess what? He never do a damn thing. Proverbs 13 and 3. He that keepeth his mouth keepeth his life, but he that openeth wide his lips shall have destruction. Exactly. Mm-hmm. You know, hey, that's why when we we'll just come around to the brothers, I say, look here, don't go and jump on uh, yo, you know, you're easily like rare, oh, yo, you're going to have a dead, and it, problem. You know, just, just go through, yo, just, 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 just as how I did, you see me? You keep silent, in the boxing, you know, they meet, you know, all that for someone just go through. When you ask my question, you answer. And leave it at that. You have the prophecy. Ah. Yeah. Let's go to the point. Mm-hmm. This is Isaiah 53, verse um uh, verse 7. He was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He is brought as a lamb to the slaughter, as a sheep, and as a sheep before the shearers is dumb, so he opened not his mouth. Exactly. And you know, with every day to life, sometimes we just have to just worry. Things happen. And we are love to defend yourself and, you know, like, get out. No, we just deal. Because I was saying, the time to come, 
Awali pata tabu ni exercise. Awali kwa ya scripture says I can to speak and I can to keep silent. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, 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 a time to keep silence and a time to speak. Okay. So, hey, there are time and place, and really, hey, especially in these days, at the time for be silent, you know. I'm going to have a prophecy out there, say, we must have a make with um, a tongue cleave to the roof of our mouth. Mm-hmm. Because we're going to have to have a prophesy to, to, to these people, you know. We're not going to have nothing to say to them. But in their day to day walk, you know, and also we say, you know, these days, it's really, really crucial. Like, this the movie that most I put the script on for watch a movie and they really open my eye to really and truly a lot of people would have be alright if they would just do a simple thing and keep them on shut you know? up. Care how, how good of a work you think you are doing or how, how justify the thing you speak in this. Now when I say it's supposed to be stupid and don't speak up when the time comes or don't, you know, stand up for yourself a certain way. Because as the scripture says, I can't just speak and I can't just keep silent. But when we mainly are focused on this, I actually learn, I implore brothers to learn when is the time to keep silence. And nine times out of ten, it is. You're supposed to listen more. Hey, Apostle Kawar will say, he say you get two eyes, two ears, and one mouth for a reason. It means you're supposed to all, uh, watch and listen more than we speak. Mm-hmm. Um, this is uh, Sarah Parikins, that's verse 28, verse 12. If thou blow the spark, it shall burn. If thou spit upon it, it shall be quenched. And both these come out of thy mouth. Mm-hmm. Basically, uh, we will hear you respond, you know. Yes, man, uh, when you bet you respond, you say nothing. Mm-hmm. Yes, man, uh, nothing. You say, him said it, or him said that. No. Yes, man, he never said nothing. All right, so I'm here, which I would say, thou says. Mm-hmm. So any idea where you have, they say, me, say. No, it's not. The step we can get from the situation and, 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 and um, act accordingly. Mm-hmm. Or if you want, it's a bit of a behave accordingly. Mm-hmm. Um, what is the next one again? Um, the. Matthew 10. Alright, this is Matthew chapter 10 and verse um, 17. No? Mm-hmm. Alright, verse 17. But beware of men. For they will deliver you up to the um, councils, and they will scourge you in their synagogues. And um, earlier when you discussed, um, where I know, if you watch the the, the, the prophecies that Yahushua gave in Matthew 24, um, basically they come in chronological order to an extent. And um, well, we are approach, and we're going to the time now of our persecution. Uh, that's what's next. You see me? Um, verse 18, and he shall be brought before governors and kings. For my sake, for testimony against them and the Gentiles, for when they deliver you up, take no thought how or what ye shall speak, for it shall be given you in that same hour what ye shall speak. For it is not he that speak, but the spirit of your father which speaketh in you. Exactly. Be, be like Jeremiah. Mm-hmm. So you know, never say no, man, and it's most of the time I put this, the, the spirit in your mouth, if you speak, when you speak. Hey, hey, you know, my scripture says, you don't be um, used to, um, to, to utter anything, you know, see me please as this. You don't be used to utter anything for the most side. Right. Um, okay. Give me just this five. Yeah. You cannot pull it out of the king, okay. Okay. Um, Ecclesiastes um, 5 verse 2, it says, Be not rash with thy mouth. Let not thine heart be hasty to utter anything before God. For God is in heaven and thou art upon earth. Mm. Therefore, let thy words be few. You know, if you're not supposed to ease the other thing before the Mosai, you're not know, supposed to eat in general. You're mm. supposed to ease in speech in general, you know. It's not supposed to ask for us to be sober, be vigilant, and we're so calm and collective in spirit. So it's maybe it's clear as chill. And if you're if you don't quote, is him and him and you have false ac- ac- accusation. If they are false, yo, what need you have to say yo, it false? Uh-huh. First thing first, you prove that. You say me to that, prove it. If you can't prove it, then you don't have to defend. Hey, look, I'm so sorry. Can't, can't, can't. 
Susan and Lifchu, because the elders they was accusing her of adultery. You see me? But when them when when them basically confront her and make a false allegation mm-hmm. against her, a child to basically sleep with her, what she say? She realized that she in between two, she in between her and a hard place, so to speak. Mm-hmm. And at the end of the day, she said, it better it, it is to fall into the hand of the heavenly father than to fall into the hand of men. And, and the thing was, she said, oh, the two of them are two witnesses and two of them are two judges. Nobody now can take our word over for them. Ah, so she does, she does pray, so they must have a deliver her. Yeah. And she doesn't say anything. Yeah, yeah. Now, yeah. Um, let me read it a little bit. The history of Susan. Let me see if she prays. I want to look. Mm-hmm. All right. Verse 21, 22. It's not here. Verse 21. So they say, if thou will not, we will bear witness against thee. That a young man was with thee, and therefore thou didst send away thy mate from thee. Then Susanna sighed and said, I am straitened on every side, for if I do this thing, it is dead unto me, and if I do it not, I cannot escape thy dear hands. So she basically aware the thing in the balance. She said, Yo, if, you, if me fall after your ways, it has sin. Therefore, me are dead nevertheless. You see me? Continue. You say, I cannot escape your hands. It is better for me to fall into your hands and not do it than to sin in the sight of the Lord. With that, Susan cried with a loud voice, and the two elders cried out against her. Then run the one and open the garden door. So when Susanna of the house heard the cry in the garden, they rushed in at the privy door to see. Yeah. Read it again. So when the servants of the house heard the cry in the, in the garden, they rushed in at the privy door to see what was done unto her. But when the elders had declared her matter, their matter, the servants were greatly ashamed, for there were, was never such a report made of Susanna. And it came to pass the next day, when the people were assembled to her husband, jo- jo- Joachim, the two elders came also full of mischievous imagination against Susanna. To put her to death, and said before the people, Send for Susanna, the daughter of um, Chelsea, Joachim's wife, and so they said. So she came with her father and mother, her children, and all her kindred. Now Susanna was a very delicate woman and beauteous to behold, and these wicked men commanded to uncover her face, for she was covered, that they might be filled with her beauty. Therefore her friends and all that saw her wept. Then the two elders stood up in the midst of the people and laid their hands upon her head. And she weeping looked up toward heaven, for her heart trusted in the Lord. Which reminds me of the precept in the book of Psalms 21, 121. Say, I will lift up my eyes unto the ill from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord. You understand? Yeah, and they are seeing a justification from men. Come. And I was supposed to understand in the times to come, you know, and justice from them people. Is it wicked for people? Definitely not. Lisa, think again. You know, people think again. You know, I get it. Hey, she, you know, the funny thing is, she couldn't have prayed to the people and believe her, say, oh, when I say, hey, I know, like, me not do it for you. She couldn't have prayed to them and say, oh, why am I wearing this and what? But guess what? She took no, the wrong position. She, she, no, she took the better position. The best. She prayed to, she, she pray to the most high. She not prayed to the people. Mm-hmm. She not, she not ask the people if they believe her. She knows that the most high would see her. The most I know is um, no say right. And, and guess what? She didn't cover her face. She right. basically show homage to her husband as well. Right. But at the end of the day, they didn't want to uncover her so that the people could look upon her. But nevertheless, when you do that, she take the open position, weeping, looking at the little father as true that they are wicked. At the end of the day, you are my judge. And yes, that's not. And I'm saying, I'm going to do it. I'm going to cover her. I'm going to dig in our history, release so called secrets of us here, mm-hmm. and publish them. Is me and try to tarnish her name. Oh, but in yeah. the end of the day, yo, is it can't bear us a deal story. Kind of for them alike, just like with the Irish Islands and the account. You see me? And um, at the end of the day, yo, don't try to tell nobody, say, yo, why me handle this and why me handle that? That doesn't make sense. It's not going to work, yo. Imagine if she had to chat up, chat up around. Yeah, I mean, children and them. I don't know how that, and they would have picked them wicked money of the law. I think they would have picked things out that she has said. Mm-hmm. And turn it back on her. And he and he saw the devil, he saw the king. Hey, they might be surprised if they like. 
Why? And, and she weeping looked up toward heaven, for her heart trusted in the Lord. And the elders said, As we walked in the garden alone, this woman came in with two maids, and shut and shut the garden doors, and sent the maids away. Then a young man who there was who there was hid came unto her and laid with her. Then we stood in the garden of the we stood in the corner of the garden, seeing this wickedness run unto them. And when they when we saw them together, the man we could not hold, for he was stronger than we, <laughs> and opened the door and leaped out. You see, you see how them wicked. But having taken this woman, we asked who the young man was. But she would not tell us these things do we testify then the assembly believed them yeah, yeah. what was she going to answer to that she could answer them and she already said she already said all oh, these men are elders they want me to call the judge mm -hmm. so how she ever say anything to defend herself you see when when they really go down further they tell her say yo she cried out unto the lord with a loud voice you see basically i declare fear herself unto the lord for me basically lord be my judge you right. see then Daniel had to intervene because Daniel was a judge amongst the people. Most said, with the spirit upon Daniel, the thing that we are. So I'm going to put the spirit upon that we are in even one witness to our day where can be who to tell. We don't know what we're the most angry, but the key about it is <coughs> keep your mouth shut and pray to your judge. And hey, um, just like the apostles in 9-11, um, they don't want to lock them up and charge them much in thousands of dollars when they couldn't afford to pay. It's in the most high for the spirit for um, my so called Jew woman. Basically, plead them cause them and they not know what bad record is. Man, this allegation makes sense, is it? And them get basically attacked on the reason and let go. Mm -hmm. So, continue. So, then the assembly believed them as those that were the elders and judges of the people. So, they condemned her, her to death. Likewise, the mother condemned, condemned her to death. Mm -hmm. And Susanna cried out with a loud voice and said, O oh, everlasting God, that knows the secrets and knowest all things before they be. Thou knowest that they have borne false witness against me, and behold, I must die. Whereas I never did such things as these men have maliciously invented against me. She never did a cry out to the judges mm -hmm. and tell them, yeah. if we are at peace, I say, say all the wicked and all the dishonored, I tell lie. Yeah. When you yeah. see someone yeah. say, yo, a lie I never tell. And you know, funny enough, um, the other person that are always referred to us as a spiritual mafia. The reason why I'm always do that because there's a certain code of conduct amongst the, the quote unquote um mafia families. Eh? Yeah, May I read a book named The Wise Guys, it based off of a movie named The Good Fellows, and the Good Fellows based off of that. So yeah. In other in other book, in of this character by the name of Henry Hill, see, Henry Hill was basically the liaison of a brother named Paulie. Him telling Paulie said, "Yo, if you get picked or nipped, see, mm -hmm. which means you get arrested, mm -hmm. or so there is only yeah. one information yeah. that they ask you, yeah. they're supposed to give unto them. See, that is your name, and that's the end of it. Don't say nothing. No matter what they ask you, just shut your mouth." Somebody will be there to lobby for you on your behalf. You see, which is which is his attorney. Mm -hmm. who, are, who is our attorney? Yeah, you know, I was shy. You see me? Brother, read up a coin. Brother, read up a coin. This is Ecclesiasticus 8, verse 11. Rise not up in anger at the presence of an injurious person, lest he lie in wait to entrap thee in thy words. Right, being that right, you know. So at times people might tell that by nobody like when people lie on them. Mm -hmm. You see me? Right, you might just want to start cussing and rail you, but right, in the idea you is it mean hunger, is it mean might say something when a hard up, is it me? And all them are weak by you and trap you and turn your rights against you. Better use the quote. Anything you say yeah. will be and can be used against you in the court of law. Mm -hmm. So they might say, Yo, you did say that, and you can't say never say it. And you are so hungry that you got things straight, you may say, Me did say that. And you want to be on record and other people that testify to you and say it's true. Yes, scripture says it's better to sleep on a pavement than to sleep with a mouth. So you might have said something and then take them, then, then purposely take it out of context. Mm -hmm. And then perp, I want to say that would mean, yeah, the, the, the words with this English language, mm -hmm. it's easy to you, you twist your words out. I mean, we already know some auto had to say that's how to do it. Right. Can. If you even watch the movie, The Godfather trilogy, you realize, say, yo, in the first um, two specials, they're going to do 
Mikey was basically calm, cool and composed. He was at his most powerful stance at that point. When they reached the, the third part, they realized the decline of him, the decline of empire. The time they time become more expressive. He started to basically speak from a feeling of emotion than rational. Zin, not allowing, not allowing the, the situation to basically be ordered and play out in a particular way. Wait a minute. You see me? Let me just finish up this. He said, Thou knowest that they are born false witness against me, and behold, I must die. Where I will say she accept the judgment. You see me? Because if the judgment comes from them, ultimately, you know, say the judgment that comes from the Father. You see me? And she as a woman understand that. Witness against me, and behold, I must die. Whereas I never did such things as these men have maliciously invented against me. And the Lord heard her voice. Therefore, when she was led to be put to death, the Lord raised up the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. of a young youth whose name was Daniel, who cried with a loud voice, I am clear from the blood of this woman. You know, say, yo, that that has that, 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 that blowing words in a man. May I see the violent sin? Mm. You can't, 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 you can not 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 and even the, even the, the situation that happened with Daniel and the princes of um, Persia in Daniel, Daniel chapter 6 Oh, they underlined them? Yeah, you see me, when they basically lobbed to the king to make a decree that um, a particular day is out of the week yeah, 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 then they're supposed to pray but Daniel went on to him oh, chambers because, because, because Daniel basically had a ritual of praying, praying about three times per day so they basically make a an alliance mm -hmm. between themselves and plan against it. You see, I made the decree go forward of the king because when the king done send for the decree, he could withdraw it back. Yeah. So even though even the king was cool, the king didn't have to basically execute the decree. You see, he said for sure Daniel in the lion's den. Mm -hmm. And he go peacefully. And when the king said, the king said, yo, let thy God be with thee. You see me? You see, the king, king that he couldn't even sleep. As man in light, he can look for Daniel because the king was trying to find a way. He basically must try to search the books and so forth. So as man in light, he can look if Daniel cool. <laughs> but when it comes to books and take out Daniel out of the lion, then who going in the next? <laughs> right. And what happened? Same time, the every father, I think the scripture says, "Your every father woken up mm -hmm. <laughs> the mouth yeah. and belly of the lion, mm -hmm. and the lions have been here." Oh God. So this is the book of Romans chapter 15 and verse 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, might have hope. Okay, so those things are written, you know, is you made the, the examples in history or who follow after them. So no matter if you see how you defend yourself, though, is you know, right? How about Shemel Shah will defend you as um, Michael said, is you know, um, basically until he be my I will basically be the nation of the Lord because I've sinned against him. Is me until he plead my cause. So most say I plead your cause, your cause or burdens upon him. My tell life by you, you know, about Shemel Shah, you know. It's not like, you know, don't try to justify yourself among men, you know, it's not going to hurt, take it from me. Take it from Akim, take it from yeah. experience, take it from the scriptures. Niggas don't want to hear truth, you see me, right? And he saw words, he's like devil, you see me? So, plead to the most side, and the most side will deliver you. No, plead to man, you see me? Um, I'm a precept of my love, I can't remember what it is. Um, cat wheel, a mortar is like a cat wheel, like oh, a fool. Yeah, yeah. Well, I appreciate you. And I want to have nice to as well, so we'll just um, read a little bit on this. It's Ecclesiastes 23, verse 16. It said, Two sorts of men multiply sin, and the third will bring wrath. A hot mind is as a burning fire, 
it will not it will never be quenched till it be consumed. You see it say how niggas were hot headed. Believe it that say yo their power their strength can save me. You see? But the scripture tells us to be what? Composed. Mm -hmm. You see? It tells us to be. Um, scripture tells us um, in Ephesians, possess your sword. Mm -hmm. You understand? You have to learn of the word of certain sense of composure. And you speak, the scripture speaks about things suffering wrongfully. You see me? Defraud yourself. What? Yeah, defraud yourself, right? I'm not going to preach it. You see, it's um, Ephesians 33, verse 34. Prepare what to say, and so thou shalt be heard, ah. and bind up instructions, and then make answer. The art of the foolish is like an ox, is, a, is, a, is like a cartwheel, and his thoughts are like a running ox tree. Can't stop. You see? The scripture being started showing you, so you learn to prepare. You see? More the composure. Um, ground yourself in the spirit. You have this um, good by the brother, um, Elliot House. You always tell us that you'll be grounded. Part of being grounded is, is being humble. Humble literally leads back to being grounded. You see me? When your mind always consists constantly a roll, a roll, a roll, you're going to roll in a shit. You understand? You're going to roll yourself in a shit, man. That's why it's good for our fillers within a speech. I read this way, quote, I um, First Peter 2, verse 20. <laughs> Well, what glory is it if when ye be buffeted for your faults, ye shall take it patiently? But if when ye do well and suffer for it, ye take it first patiently, this is acceptable with God. For here, for even here unto we were ye called, because how shall also suffer for us, leaving us an example that we should follow his steps? Says, who did no sin, neither was no right found in his mouth. Who, when he was reviled, reviled not again. When he suffered, he threatened not, but committed himself to him that judged righteously. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. From now on, you have it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put a quick one for you. It's uh, Ecclesiastes uh, 28, verse 25. And weigh thy words in a balance, mm. and make a door and bar for thy mouth. Mm. Beware, beware thou slide not by it, lest thou fall before him that lieth in wait. Mm -hmm. And yeah. slide before him that lieth in wait. One, one um, tactic that um, like attorneys or prosecutors like to use is to be, they call it badgering the witness. Mm. You see, you like hear your defender stand up and say, Objection! Badgering of the witness. Why? Because they know say once they badge the witness, they get them tongue loose. And if something ever gets said, that attorney light in way for me is called hip at that. Hold on, you said that. See me? Prosecution, let the jury hear and, and bear it in mind. Let them out a series of questions they can just answer without even thinking. God. <coughs> see me? And this is Matthew chapter 26, verse 59. Now the chief priests and elders and all the council sought false witness against Yahushai to put him to death, but found none. Yea, though many false witnesses came, yet found they none. At the last came two false witnesses and said, This fellow said, I am able to destroy the temple of the Most High and to build it in three days. And the high priest arose and said unto him, Answer thou nothing? What is it? Which these witnessed against thee. But how shall I held his peace? Exactly. Because you know, if you can answer, when you mama tell them, say, okay, but they attack nobody. Because the body at the temple of God. You think so, they might listen to that? Exactly. And in our. Blasphemy? You're born in the temple of God? Blasphemous! Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> what in peace? You don't answer them. Continue out. And the high priest answered and said unto him, I adjure thee by the living. For that thou tell us whether thou be the, the Amashia, the anointed, the son of the Most High. And how shall I say unto him, thou hast said? Remember that? He said, thou hast said? Go on. Nevertheless, I say unto you, hereafter shall ye see the Son of Man sitting on the right hand of Paul and coming in the clouds of heaven. Exactly. So, on the man's side, straight unto the point. 
And Yahawashai stood before the governor, and the governor asked him, saying, Art thou the king of the Jews? And Yahawashai said unto him, Thou sayest. And when he was accused of the chief priests and elders, he answered nothing. Then said Pilate unto him, Hearest thou not how many things they witness against thee? And he answered him, and he answered him to never a word in so much that the governor marveled greatly. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's the um, scripture says that Arabia shot from burning much in fury. So yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So this is Saint John chapter nineteen and verse um, um ten. He said, Then said Pilate unto him, Speakest thou not unto me, knowest thou not that I have power to crucify thee, and have power to release thee? The house I answered, Thou couldest have no power at all against me, except it were given thee from above. Therefore he that delivered me unto thee are the greater sin. Exactly. Exactly. And I'm also in one point it says, I look here, if this were my kingdom, my name would my servants fight. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? <coughs> so, <coughs> with that truly, you are shy. Um, yeah, 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 get to that. Um, at, um, St. John um, 18, verse 35. Pilate answered, Am I a Jew? Then um, thine own nation and the chief priests have delivered thee unto me. What hast thou done? Yahu Shai answered, My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, then would my servants fight, that I should not be delivered to the Jews. But now is my kingdom not from hence. What? Pilate therefore said unto him, are thou the king of are thou a king then? Yahushai answered, Thou sayest that I am a king. To this end was I born. And for this cause came I into the world, that I should bear witness unto the truth. Every one that is of the truth heareth my voice. Exactly. Um, exactly. So that that I think. He say, oh, are you, um, he say, oh, is a kingdom um is not of this world. So basically, I say, well, if I now say I want king of the Jews, then I want to know want king then. I say, you basically tell him, yes, I want king. Is it because say, I have this part, this is how I come from. Mm -hmm. Is it that anyone who know the truth? No, because this one really and truly is the king of kings and Lord of God, and really and truly, but the king of truth as well. So, the, hey, I just say, truth, you have to realize that all of this, then you speak over and the truth defend them. The God of truth defend them because this one, truth will always prevail. We have um, Paul, um, Paul as an example as well. Paul get brought onto more than one council, you know, and everybody say, I'm going to find a Paul like this one. Uh -huh. The scripture is so supposed to be blameless um, uh -huh. for a purpose and a um, wicked generation of paraphrasing. Yeah, the only thing Paul always does is answer the question where we ask. Mm -hmm. Even though in Paul, you know, so Paul was a man uh, full of passion. Is uh -huh. And when I think it was Felix, but mm -hmm. he's him more. Oh. Is it really? I feel it. So I will box. 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 I answer box. I will 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 box. I box. I will 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 box. You know, if you keep a grounding in whatever circumstances you're in. And when I know it is easier said than done, but they, these are things that we need to pray for you. Because we, 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 if you have that type of spirit, you know, I need to come. You know, hey, hey, if you watch interrogation movies, man, you just want to look for the one like the one that I thought the means. Yes, I was supposed to be the first to school. And I'm trying to find something that I'm threatening them with something or try, says, try something. When they're not break, you want them to break, they usually get for walk out free because they're not on them. When they squeal, 
a good movie or how they see us. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the money will tell life on themselves. Right. When, they get, when they get proven, say, oh, the money now, nothing for you, they now, no case, and they use what they say against them. Mm-hmm. Yes, mm-hmm. That's a good one, unfortunately, how they see us. It's a thing that three parts see us are for. Sure, the devil, the nature of the devil. Mm-hmm. It's so far, yes. So, hey, with this, hope the whole viewers are edified. Uh, once more, I want to say all our graces to the whole for Shem Yam Shai, for Shem Raka Kodash, and the honors and the apostles and the elders of Grimble Stone. Shout out to the brides and the highways, and why we pushing this word now in the and truth, the sisters, the believers, the helps. Shout out. Shalom. 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 Shal